Bonjour, I'm back with a video. Um, I'm going to try to make this pretty short. What I'm going to do for the first time is I'm actually going to do lip swatches for uh, my new, well, are they new? Well, some stuff of it is new. However, some of it I've had for a while, but these are going to be all of my favorite fall lipsticks. Well, lip products, I should say, because you know, nowadays there's so many different types of lipsticks. So anyway, I am going to <laughs> start this off with the lipstick that I have on. Well, it's actually lip paint and it is Tempt. And I'll put it down here on the uh, bottom of the screen. Basically, it comes in this little tube, sort of like the Too Faced forget what liquid melted whatever lip products whatever they are I don't have any of those but these are really good these are like I think two dollars and fifty cents now see as you can see here it's pretty dark but you can kind of sheer it out you know so it's kind of basically the lightest part of my lip or you can like make it dark and you know really vampy if you like that okay let me this here and I'm going to attempt at editing this so that you can see all of the the swatches on my lips okay so okay and this is the next one this is wet n wild uh, Bordeaux Boulevard I'll put it on the screen and I will swatch it on my hand here they are very opaque one swipe and it's pretty much good it's kind of a mauve -y, Sort of purpley, I don't know, quite, yeah, it's like a muted mauve, basically. And that is it on my lips. <laughs> and I was so tempting to look in this viewfinder, and I have to learn to stop that. Okay, okay. next one up is the Rimmel, was it Kate Moss for Rimmel? I forget what the name of these are. This is not the matte ones. This is, um, oh yeah, here we go. Lasting Finish by Kate from Rimmel, and it is number 10. It is the most beautiful red. I mean, literally, that was one swipe. It's coming up more of a candy apple red there, but, but it's darker in person. So, of course, this is Kate Moss for Rimmel. Okay, all right, this one is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Siren. It's one of their newer ones. It has a um, metallic finish to it, so it's like a burgundy sort of cranberry shade, like a darker cranberry with a metallic finish to it. You can't really, I don't know if it's really picking it up in the camera, but definitely I don't think you'll be able to see it here either but it has a metallic finish so it's not very it's very subtle it's not in your face like shimmer and you can't even feel it on your lips or anything like that but it definitely has it so that is NYX matte lipstick in siren and uh, all right Alrighty, and this next one is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. And the only thing with this one is, is this is how it starts out. And then after, I don't know, like maybe a couple minutes, it dries matte. So I'm going to just show you how it looks now and then I will wait till it dries matte and then come so, back and show you that. I would say it takes actually longer than a few minutes for this to dry um, matte because I'm looking at it and I'm like it still kind of looks shiny in the viewfinder and a little bit in the mirror but it does dry down completely matte and I'm pretty sure anyone who has any of these knows what I'm talking about. So again this is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. Okay, this is Nika K. They call it lip color. It's pretty much a lip gloss, but it's just a very pigmented lip gloss. 
as you can see I really like this one and the color is in Daytona it's NY2 screen and it is sort of a it has more of a redder no because see, it's not really okay this is true to color the way it's showing me in the viewfinder this is true to color it's like a brownish red basically but on my hand well it's kind of showing it true to color but it's very true to color on my lips so I love this so much I have quite a few of these maybe I'll do a video on how, which ones of these I have and and my favorites and stuff like that so Again, this is Nika K Lip Gloss. Well, they call it lip color in Daytona.